gonna have a little talk today, YouTube. I ran across an article online that I kind of didn't like. I'm not sure if you guys have seen it, but you probably have for you on social media like me. TikTok, one of the fastest growing platforms, social media platforms, they just took some of Lizzo's pictures down because they say that they were too explicit. Now, you know, and I know that those pictures weren't explicit compared to some of the stuff we see, but we're gonna get into that. Just to put this video into context in regards to why I feel a certain way about it is because for the people that know me, right? I'm talking about know me personally, not, not on Instagram, not just on YouTube. I'm talking about know me in real life. They know that I'm a simple guy, right? I like simple things. I like simple things like Little Caesars pizza. Stuff that people would be like, ugh, that's disgusting. I like fried chicken from Popeyes, right? Love that chicken from Popeyes. That's me, man, I'm that guy. I like the Popeyes chicken and I'm not afraid to admit it. And I also, I love me some Lizzo, right? Even so much that I made her my WCW to the point that I made her my WCW twice, right? And a lot of people were mad at me like, oh, you're in shape, how could you like a girl like Lizzo? Let me tell you why I like a girl like Lizzo, right? It's because she's confident. In a world where people are so insecure about themselves and have body dysmorphia, she kind of goes against that traditional way of thinking. She's confident in herself, even if she feel, even if she's plus size, right? You will catch her in a bathing suit just like you will catch that girl that has 6% body fat. She doesn't care, and that's what makes her attractive to a lot of guys, to a lot of people. That's why she's successful. That's why she's a Grammy winner. You, you can't hate on Lizzo. Now, as I mentioned, TikTok removed her pictures from their site because they stated that it was too explicit. Now, just think about that. I, I, you, you have Instagram right now, right? Close this video before you even tell me what you think. Stop this video, pause it, right? Go to your Instagram. You don't even have to go on the explore page. Just scroll down Instagram, right? And I guarantee you within 15 to 20 seconds, you're gonna see one of these three things. You're gonna see a girl that's half naked. You're gonna see a girl, girl twerking, right? Or you're gonna see a girl in the gym with like the little pose with the booyah like that, turn to the side. You're gonna, you're gonna see one of those, right? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying which one you're gonna see, but you're gonna see one. Now, it's nothing wrong with either one of those, right? I can care less. But what I'm saying is, you can't treat someone one way and then treat someone else the other way. It's 2020. It is 2020. Now, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but National Women's Day, it was actually yesterday. I'm recording this video on March the 9th, 2020. National Women's Day was formulated in 1913 to go against discrimination against women. And at one point, women were discriminated against being women. You know, just because they were women, they were thought that they couldn't do certain things. Then it was because of their race, you know, black, white, Latino, different perceptions of different women. Now we're in 2020, people are running out of things to discriminate against and now they want to discriminate against Lizzo's weight or any plus size woman's weight, a voluptuous woman's weight, right? And I think that's wrong. Hey, you, you, got, you got fat shaming going on. That's, that's pretty much what it is. And I don't want you guys to fat shame Lizzo, plus size woman, anybody. I don't want you to fat shame your best friend. If your friend, right, is eating pizza and you're over here eating your rabbit food, because I know that if you're watching this video, you like to be fit, right? Don't chastise them because they chose to eat something different than what you're doing. If anything, how about you encourage them? Say, hey man, I tried this cauliflower pizza the other day. It tastes just as good as the pizza you're eating and it's only one third the calories. See, see how that came off as a little more persuasive. They might be a little more receptive to that as opposed to you over here scolding them because they're not doing what you want them to do. If you don't have anything nice to say, then don't say it at all. And don't be fat shaming, don't be fat shaming Lizzo, okay? I like Lizzo, I like her confidence. I, hey, I, I tell you, I'll tell you something. When I post Lizzo as my WCW, right? I have a whole bunch of girls in my inbox, mad. They can't believe that I would post Lizzo as my WCW. But you know what? I'm gonna keep posting Lizzo as my WCW. After I drop this video, I'm gonna post her as my WCW again, all right? But I just wanted to bring attention to that particular topic. Something I found disturbing, didn't really like it. Just wanted to bring it to your attention. So stop fat shaming TikTok. You gotta do better. You can't be doing Lizzo like that. You can't be doing people like that. If you wanna keep growing, I don't think that's the smart move to do. It's your boy E-Fitness, I'm out.